Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harmless bells a shake. It asks if there is some mistake. The only other sound is the sweep of easy wind and downy flakes. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep stopping by the woods on a snowy evening it starts off about a man thinking he knows who lives in the house then it goes on to him stopping for no apparent reason just to watch the snowfall then the little horse is himself in his own country talking to himself for the reason why he actually stopped in the woods and in the darkest evening of the year is his deep depression that he's in then the only other sound the sweep of ease easy wind and downy flake is showing how descriptive it is around him and what's going on. The woods are lovely dark and deep. It's showing a metaphor of the afterlife and what the man is being pressured and wants to escape. how easy it would be just to stay there forever not to return to the tedious reality that waits for him then he snaps out of it from the line but I have promises to keep and that's showing that he's coming back to reality and he's remembering that he can't live in that time and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep it's also a metaphor of miles is the journey that we take of life and sleep is death so he's saying he has many 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 more miles to go before he dies so he's going to go through a lot of stuff before his death. The rhyme scheme for stopping by the woods on a snowy evening is the first and the second line and the fourth line rhyme. The third does not. But it sets up the rhyme for the next stanza. For example, the third stanza, queer, near, and year, all rhyme, but lake rhymes with shake, mistake, and flake in the following stanza. As well, this poem uses a lot of metaphors, such as the words are lovely, dark, and deep, and mouth to go before I sleep, and mouth to go before I sleep. As well, this poem uses a lot of descriptive words such as between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. And only other sounds the sweet of easy wind and the downy flake. Some say 
Robert Frost was auto intoxicated from tiredness while writing this speech. As well, during John F. Kennedy's campaign, every speech JFK used quoted the last line of this poem, having promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep, was JFK's biggest campaign line. As well, some say that Robert Frost was actually hallucinating and seeing stuff as he was as he was writing the speech, and they actually called him crazy. <laughs>